Hey everybody, welcome back to my Bake Like a Pro YouTube channel. In today's really fast video, I'm going to show you how to make some holiday ornaments for your Christmas tree. What I have here is a semi-sphere mold. This one here is a little bit expensive, but you can use the regular plastic ones that are around three or four dollars, and those work well also. What I have here is some tempered chocolate, and I started off, I was going to incorporate tempering the chocolate and then doing this video as well and the the thought of me doing a you know a one minute tempering tutorial turned into a whole tutorial on its own so I decided to split the videos up so if you want to see how I tempered this I'll put a link in the description box underneath this video and also there'll be a clickable link at the end of this video. So this exact chocolate where I showed you us tempering it, we're gonna now be using it for our new tutorial. I'm just gonna grab a little brush. And you've seen me do this quite often. And I'm just gonna get in here and I wanna just start painting my first layer into this mold. So we're gonna be creating little balls and then we're going to be attaching a little top to it. I'll show you that later on. So for now I just want to start building that outer shell. And I'm going to do this probably three times. I do want these solid enough. So you want to get right up to the sides. And you can also do this by filling each one and then tapping it on the table. You're going to need a lot more white chocolate to do this. So you'll fill each one, tap it to get air bubbles out, and then you'll turn the mold over. And then all of the excess chocolate will fall out and then you can reuse it. That requires a lot more chocolate and that's how they do it in professional chocolate making places. So right now I am going to continue this. I'm going to do my first coating and then I'll just come back when I've finished that and then I'm just going to let it sit. Since this is tempered chocolate I don't have to put this into the fridge so I'll let it go for about five minutes. As soon as I see that it's set then we can start applying our our second coating. So I'm just finishing up this last one and if you look here you can already see that this one here is already already setting up and I'll just show you I'll touch it and you can see that it's already dry and that's what tells you that you did a good job tempering your white chocolate here's another little tip if you find that your chocolate is starting to set up you can see it's getting a little bit thick here. Take a hair dryer on the low setting, apply a little bit of heat for three or four seconds or more, and then take your spoon and just start stirring that chocolate in. So just like that, good enough, and then stir it. And what that does is take all of that heat that you applied to the top of the chocolate. Now you're incorporating that and do that a few seconds, you know, four or five seconds, however long you need, but you don't really, do not sit there for 15 seconds and put too much heat because you will actually really untemper that chocolate. So just little bursts and then stir it in. If you apply too much heat, at one time you can just make the whole thing go untempered and then you have to start all over again. So that's good. Maybe a little bit more. You know, just a few seconds applies a lot of heat. And we'll get it in there. And then I'm ready to go on my second little portion of shell. So I'm going to start again and I'm going to start building that second layer. 
So I'm not going to bore you with this. You've seen me do this in many, many videos. So I'm going to whip through this. I'll do all of these. I'm going to let them set. And then I'm going to do a third layer, my final layer. And then I'm going to pop the tray into my fridge for about five minutes. That will contract the chocolate. And then our little semi-spheres should just pop out with no problem. So I'm going to continue doing this and I'll be back in a little while. So I wanted to just come back as I'm finishing off the third layer. So I've done this three times. Now I'm just going to let this set and then I'm going to put it into the fridge no more than five minutes. I don't want to have any condensation starting to happen on the actual mold. So you never want to leave your chocolate in the fridge very long. Five minutes, then I'll come back and we'll unmold them. So I just brought these out of the fridge, about five minutes. I'm just gonna put this over. I don't want any of them breaking. I'm gonna flip it over. There's one. There's two. There's three, there's four, there's a couple more, two left. Let me see if I can get it out, and there we go. And there we have it. And there they are. So that just shows me again that I did a good job on my tempering. The chocolate really contracted in the molds and they came out really nicely. So I have a fry pan that I've just heated up a little bit and now what I want to do is start putting my little spheres together. So just a little bit, heat up the chocolate, just give it a little twist and then pull it apart, or put them together rather. And there we have it. And I can see here I made a little mistake, I missed a little section. So I could have put a little bit more white chocolate on the inside to fix that, but I'm fine with it. So there we have one. Let me do another one. So when you do this, just give it a little twist. It helps make sure that the surface is exactly flat all the way around. So put it on, and just a little bit of a twist, or a twirl, and then just grab them nicely together, just take your time when they look good just let them go nice and gently one of them actually slid apart on me, I didn't realize while I was doing the other one, so I'll just grab it get it back together and then put it into a little egg cup there so that's a little trick. You can use a little egg carton as well. That works well too. And our last one. Together. And of course, you could fill these with a little surprise if you were giving these out as gifts. Something very small. I'm not sure what you want to put in there. Anything. There we've got our four white chocolate spheres. Now that I've zoomed in, you can see how nice these are. So at this point, I have to let the white chocolate completely set up and then we'll get on to the last little steps of our little project. To turn our little chocolate spheres into little Christmas ball ornaments, I went to my local dollar store and I just picked up, these were about a dollar, maybe a dollar twenty-five, something like that and they have this little top which is really nice. I'm just gonna pop those off. These are just plastic. You can reuse them. And then, so you see how there's a little piece of metal here and it's, you can push it in and then it'll pop itself back out. So I'm just gonna grab one of my little spheres and then I just close down the little feet. And then anywhere, I'm gonna do it along the, the actual seam and I'm just going to pop that in so get that in and give it a little bit of a push 
and then just get that on there and there we have it and now we have our little white chocolate Christmas ornament So I'll just show you close up on this one so you can see how that little device works, the little loop that you usually put your little uh, hook on. You can see inside as it goes in, it's, it's compressed and then as it gets right into the bulb, it opens right up. So that's what secures it inside and that's exactly what we're going to be doing on there. So I'm just going to pull that one out. And I'll do it one more time. So I'm just going to compress this, grab another one, so just get it right in there, just push it right in. I know you can't see me right now, so I'm just pushing, okay, I'm just going to lift out here so I can, you can, I, I can show you here, so you can see how it is, let me turn that to the camera, so you can see, so now as I push it in, it's going to open up inside, so I'll just gently push and there you can feel it opening up and there we have it and you can see how secure that is really nice if you're gonna give these away as gifts you could put something nice in there you could put a nice covered chocolate anything you want there's so many possibilities but isn't that cute another variation that you can do which is nice is you can take some more melted chocolate go with the white and then you can follow the seam all the way around and by putting that chocolate on there it's going to act like a glue and then you can sprinkle some little colored sugar either green or red or silver or uh, gold and go all the way around or you could go this way as well you could do something really nice just bring those to life a little bit more okay so I just put one in the other way and just let it go makes a nice fit and now you can see that my little seam here is running horizontally along the Christmas ornament so now it makes it really easy to apply a little bit more white chocolate and then add a little bit of glitter and I think that's what I'll do next so we're gonna add some little bit of edible sugar around um, just that edge right there where the two edges meet so I'll just show you another little variation that we talked about before. So I've just got some tempered chocolate that I've put into a little colne. And now I'm just going to go around the seam of this one. Just like that. Make sure it's all nice. Maybe a little bit more here. If you want to make, you know, the, the appearance a little bit more pronounced just add a little bit more chocolate maybe a double row like I'm doing here hopefully I'm on camera that's good and then I've got these little Christmas little candy balls and I'm just gonna drop those right on there and just get them all over you can reuse the ones that have fallen in there because only the ones are gonna stick to the actual chocolate and then just get them all on just like that I think that looks nice and then I'm just going to put it into a little shooter glass just so that it firms up. So here we are we've come to the end of another video I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you wish and if you're on Facebook you can check me out at facebook.com slash bake like a pro.